This is a Blaring Out With Eric Blair show at the 2019 Hall of Heavy Metal History Awards show. Jeff Scott Soto, what is significant about you being inducted into the Hall of Heavy Metal History? That I'm inducted with Portnoy, I'm inducted with Ellison, I'm these are a lot of my friends. Lee Kerslake, legend, genius. I mean, his drumming is just legendary. Bob Daisley, I'm just all across the board, the people I'm sharing this company with, I'm more stoked to see them than I am actually to receive the award tonight. Where have you been trapped? Just got back from the Trans-Siberian Orchestra Tour, uh, literally on New Year's Eve. I came home a little bit sick, but I still dove into the new Soto record because I'm kind of on a timeline deadline. We're, we're getting this thing done, we're wrapping it up. We just started mixing yesterday, and I'm still singing the album while we're mixing, so that's how crazy it is. But we actually started the new Sons of Apollo record at the same time I'm finishing the Soto record. So it's turning into another year like last year, and, but it's not gonna be as crazy. Yeah, Mike Portnoy, I mean, he just tweeted that he finished all the drum tracks. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's fast. It, it, he doesn't mess around. Mike, he's an animal. But what can people expect from the Soto record? The Soto band is completely different from the JSS yeah. thing. The JSS thing is more of a hard rock, melodic rock thing. Soto is more of a heavy metal, more of, I guess, power rock, contemporary, whatever you want to call it. I'm aiming more for a current contemporary sound with Soto, even though it's still got the same classic traditional JSS isms. And, and it's kind of the same thing I do with Sons of Apollo. That's more of a proggy. If you again, very contemporary, very proggy, but I have a natural classic rock tendency that kind of turns it into something accessible for even the older fans as much as the newer fans. And that's what, that's, that's all I'm trying these days. I don't want to just keep repeating myself, but I also don't want to alienate the people who've been following me for so many years and try to fool them or make try, try to think I'm trying to fool them into something that they're not used to me doing. Have you laid down the vocal tracks for the new Sons of Apollo? Not a single lick. These guys were waiting for me to even hear any of the new stuff they said concentrate on finishing the Soto record because we want you to come in with a clean slate we don't want you hearing stuff and, and already start thinking about what I should be doing with Sons of Apollo while I'm finishing Soto and I'm glad they they went that route that's exactly what I would have wanted out of the situation so if you listen to the tracks yes I did <laughs> let's just say we planted the seed with Psychotic Symphony for the next album which is yet to be untitled or yet to be titled we're taking it home. Yeah, it's it's badass. But Disturbed last year had so much crossover success yeah. with the cover of Sounds of right, Silence. Right. Now, with your beautiful voice, you could attack so many classics and standards. You, there could be a Jeff Scott Soto standards record, and you could do whatever you want. I've been asked, and this has been discussed so many times, I need to get the real stuff out of the way first before I start digging into, because that, that's the kind of thing, that would be a labor of love, and I'd want to do it the right way, the right songs, the right arrangements. That's not something I want to dive into just yet. I still have so much of my own stuff to, to get over first. Now, I was watching some old footage of you doing a Queen tribute. Right. Now, what have you seen the new Queen movie? Absolutely. Tell me what you think of I thought the entertainment factor was brilliant. I thought the acting was brilliant. Everything across the board was great. Of course, there were a few timeline things, but that's that's Hollywood making a story, at, you know, taking a 40-year career, 50-year career, and condensing it into a two-hour movie. You, you kind of have to mess with the timeline to get it, you know, to make it entertaining and keep everybody watching. I love the movie. I'm extremely proud and happy for Brian and Roger and all the success they're able to now have. I don't even want to say a second life. They, they, they're on like the ninth life right now with how many times that band just comes back around. I mean, think about Wayne's World, how that brought back Bohemian Rhapsody. Now this movie's bringing to another generation. It's just transcending time. And that's what the beautiful thing about Queen is. What would you say are two of your favorite Queen songs? Oh, God, you kidding, you kidding me. Probably. I'm, I go deep when it comes to Queen because I am an uber fan. I, I'm a B-sides uber fan of Queen. So I would never choose the obvious. I never choose the hits. I go deep. So I like when Queen goes a little goofy, like a little wacky, novelty, nostalgic. 
when they go like the bicycle race and uh, good old fashioned lover boy, when they get crazy with all the harmonies and all the lushness behind it, that's the queen I love. Wow, that's really, I wouldn't think that. Yeah, well, because most people think I'm just a hard rock, heavy metal screamer. They don't realize that I'm into the, like the really sultry, um, you take my breath away, love of my life kind of stuff. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I was in my blood, in my DNA. So, and that's, it brings back to what you were just saying about my voice and being able to do so many different things and standards. I got all that from Steve Perry and Freddie Mercury. Oh, I know you were in Journey for a while. Yeah. Uh, and, and also you were in Soul Circus and we've talked about this yeah. before. But but what do you, like, do you see Neil anymore? Do you talk to him? Unfortunately, the, that relationship fractured when I was let go of Journey. Um, I would love nothing more for everybody to just get along. I love nothing more to be in their Christmas card list every year, you know, I would wish that somewhere along the way, especially as we get older, you know, I think we've even discussed this. I don't have time to, to hold grudges. As far as I'm concerned, all the people that everybody thinks I have a problem with, I just want to hug them and I just want to go into the golden years, you know, with love, peace and love. <laughs> it is a lot of work to hate people. It takes it? way more attention and, and yeah, it, it takes way too much energy to hate than there is to just get along. Would let the people know what they can see next from you, what what they can get their hands on from Jeff Scott Soto. The next Soto record is going to be dropped in May 3rd, I believe. It's early May. And we're signed with Inside Out Music, which is at Century Media, same label as Sons of Apollo. So we have a fighting chance now to uh, get the Soto band up and roaring. And the Sons of Apollo live DVD that we filmed last year in Bulgaria is coming out, I think, around summertime. So you got that to look forward to. And we're talking about maybe even dropping the Sons of Apollo album by the end of the year as opposed to waiting to the beginning of next year. And the only reason we didn't want to release it sooner is because we lose the two months at the, the, the latter part of the year when I do trans Siberian Orchestra. I want to, we want to make sure as soon as we drop, drop the record, we're all free, we're hitting the ground running, and we're going to be touring like mad men. The Blaring Out Show.